Hi guys, um, today we're going to be speaking about removing the ashtray on your Mercedes W124. Um, before we go any further, you, uh, there's, there's two types of ashtray. This one is the latest one, uh, as you can see it's, uh, it's all flushed in. And in order to open it, we press it and we release. And it's all automatic. The other one I will show you now. It's uh, is the other type, is the uh, older type where we have to pull it. Here we have the older type of ashtray. So as you can see, there's a, there's a lip here where we just pull it manually and it opens up. Um, in any case, for both, we will need to remove this. So for this type of ashtray, we just pull it out and it come out. And on the other one, we'll push a button that I will show you right now the first thing we'll have to do in order to remove the ashtray is remove the carpet that you've got here usually yeah? you've got a, a small carpet you remove it and usually you have um, a little plate here uh, a little uh, plastic plate with a screw that little plate with a screw holds um, this in place uh, this this piece of wood uh, very often it's broken. Why it's broken? Because there's some uh, people that work on those cars, they don't know how to dismantle things and they break it. So it's very, very common that it's broken. Uh, so far I haven't found one car where this is intact. So if you still got it, then remove this, uh, this screw. And then uh, in order to remove it, you just pull it up like this. And then you pull it towards you, uh, towards the rear, like that, and you lift it up. Okay. Why you do that? Because here on the front, you got those two uh, little clips. Uh, so this clip inside the um, inside the console. Uh, so this goes in front. And when you want to put it, you put it like this. You push it, and then you push it down okay and then if you got the screw you put it back if you don't have it well you just leave it like that okay so the first thing we do we remove this now that the panel is removed um, for the central console we're just gonna open the ashtray or you pull the other one uh, same and we remove this so for this model we just pull it slightly on the side here there's a little arrow we pull it on the side this pulls up and we remove it okay on the other one you just pull it out huh? end of story now unfortunately my camera is not uh, so good to show you what's inside but if you look inside on each side huh? so there's uh, here at the top and at the top right huh? so top left and top right you got two screws at the end huh? at the bottom so you just remove them with a with a star screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. You remove the, the two. Now that we removed it, we just need to pull the ashtray towards us carefully, and because there's cables behind, as you can see. So now we just need to unclip that. So depending of your model, it can be here or it can be more at the bottom. Okay. So you just unclip it, and here we go. Now you have the ashtray, and you are ready to fit the new one, um, or, or, or repair this one, huh? because it could be that you've got a problem with, with this. It's a very common problem with Mercedes. So it may need that, that you need to clip this again, and then put it back on. When you need to fit the ashtray again, um, obviously you fit the cable but be very careful because uh, as you can see there's uh, there's like a little um, hole here so make sure you push the cable as much as you can inside so that the ashtray can fit nicely why I'm saying that is because if the cable is not fitted properly when you will open the ashtray and after you want to close it it won't close okay because the cables will be in the way so it's very important that you push them and if you don't have your radio try with your hands to pull it as well okay this will help you uh, if not you will have a problem fitting it okay 
So put it in place, put the two screws, put the inside of the, um, of the ashtray and put back the panel and that's it, you're done. Okay, I hope this would have helped you. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video that I've shown you and you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and give me a like. Um, and if you feel like it, you can leave me a comment as well. Well, see you on the next video.